naturally they're the best pictures we ever made because always the last pictures and most recent pictures we always think of the finest. The corpse in pictures are the new pictures that we did the last two years. And they, again, we are saying that they are based on death and life. And what you ended up in could be the bones. After all, we are living in a French street built on a Roman cemetery. We're all living near cemeteries all over the world. I mean, the most exciting thing about all these pictures that we did, the shoes are made of gold for walking the earth. And our bed is becoming a bone bed. We are sleeping on bones, but we are lying down on the floor, on the pavement, and that's why you see the souls. We are not standing up in these pictures. We are lying down. We like the golden shoes because it was Dick Whittington who came to London because he was told the streets were paved with gold. And when he arrived, he realized that wasn't true. But he went on to achieve great success and he made money and became Lord Mayor of London himself. So it's not the streets that made him, it's himself. It feels like the two bodies lying in a basket and the flowers on top of it. We always like to be basking for one reason or another. I think towards the end of creating this group of pictures, we felt we were basking in the success of the corpsing pictures. And every time we create a group of works, they are based on the same kind of feelings, everyone. They don't change a lot. They are only the composition are changing. So even the pictures forking and forkers, the two pictures you have to be careful how you pronounce, but they show skeletons of a form. They are leaves from the trees on Fournier Street that have been trampled daily by people with leather shoes, which means they're city gents, and they end up completely ravaged and like little skeletons of a leaf, and we love them very much. Yes, and it feels like we are sleeping in the pavement, on the pavement in some way with the bones on top of us. Pavement is our pillow, as the words of the song say. Pavement is my pillow, no matter where, where we stray, stray, underneath the arches, we dream our dreams away. You see, it's all connected. We will be showing the paradisical pictures in our Gilbert and George Centre, in Henny Street, very near where we live, in the east end of London, and we believe it's a wonderfully beautiful clash of subject matter between corpsing and paradisical. We call them the paradisical pictures, and we started the Gilbert and George Centre by showing them there, because most people believe paradise is the after party, and we believe the opposite. So we're starting with the paradisical pictures at the Gilbert and George Centre. We're beginning with it. So instead of it being an after party, it's more like a pre-come party. It is expressing ourselves being alive, Art. Go anywhere in the world and stop a complete stranger on the street and say Charles Dickens. Whether they've read a book or not, the culture enters the head of that person. You can say Vincent van Gogh. They don't have to have seen an exhibition. We know that dead man is speaking from the grave. And all of culture, all of books and pictures and movies and songs and poetry, all built us a very marvelous thing called the free world. <laughs>